Welcome everyone, let's work together to our best to learn as much as we can and respect and support each other through all the challenges. Hi, good day everyone, I am Gwyneth Armada, BS Tom 11 at La Consolacion College, Manila. For today's video, I'm gonna discuss with you what is percentage and pie chart are and how the proper computation of it. The goals of this video are first to know the basic meanings of percentage and pie chart. Second, to know how to compute a percentage and to know how to make a pie chart with this. The third one is to give an example to determine the percent and to apply the pie chart in the given situation. So first, let's talk about what is percentage is. Percentage is a number or ratio that can be represented as a fraction of 100. The term percentage was derived from the Latin word percentum, which means per hundred. And this symbol is used to denote the percentage. But sometimes it's denoted by an abbreviation of PCT. So like what I said a while ago, that sometimes percentage denoted by an abbreviation. For example, we can express 50% as 50% or 50% in word. But for me, mas preferred gamitin ang 50% with symbol kasi kadalasan sa mall, ito rin yung mga ginagamit nila, na kadalasang um, kabisado na lang ng mga mata natin or very familiar sa atin. Like pag may mga sales sa department stores, sa food establishment, sa malls. Next is percentage are also written to inform whole numbers, fractions, or decimals. For example, 4%, 75%, 0 0.6%, 0.25%, 3/5%, and etc. So this is the given example. 40 HIV positive patients in St. Luke's Medical Center were given a blood test to determine their blood type. The data set is as follows. We have here class, tally, frequency, and percentage. This class is categorical dahil wala tayong interval so it will be ungrouped. Next, para makuha ang frequency, add natin lahat ng tally marks. So, ang total frequency ng class A is 10. For the B, 10 also. For the class O, 8. For the class AB is 12. After we compute the frequency, wag natin kakalimutan ilagay ang ating N which is yung total number of HIV positive cases. At syempre, ito dapat ang magiging equal or tally sa ating problem. So our N will be 40. The next step is we will get each percentage. Makocompute natin ito by this formula. So this is percentage equals to frequency divided by n times 100%. And remember that the percentage is always 100%. So let's start to solve it. So let's start with the first frequency which is 10 divided by 40 which is the n is equals to 0 0.25 then 0 0.25 times 100%. So the percentage will be 25%. The second frequency is 10 divided by 40 is also equal to 0 0.25 since same lang sila na frequency then ita times natin ito into 100%. So the percentage will be also 25%. The third frequency is 8 divided by 40 is equal to 0 0.2. Then 0 0.2 times 100%, the percentage will be 20%. The last frequency is 12. 12 divided by 40 is equal to 0 0.3. Then it times all it so 100%, so the percentage will be 30%. 
So each blood type is given by the 40 HIV positive patients in St. Luke's Medical Center. For blood type A, we have 25%. For blood type B, we have 25%, which is also same as the given percent of blood type A. Blood type C has 20%. And for the last blood type, which is blood type AB, has a total of 30%. So the total will be 100%. Then always check na kapag na-compute na ang lahat ng percentage, ang dapat maging total nito ay laging 100%. But if it's not 100%, ibig sabihin may mali sa ating solution. Kaya always double check solutions to be sure na magtototal ito ng 100%. So ganun lamang kadali mag-compute ng percentage sa ating ungroup data. So given by the percentage of each blood type, let's answer the following questions. So for our question number 1, what is the total of HIV positive patients or ilan yung ating N or data? So, the answer will be 40. Number 2, which blood type has the lowest percentage? The blood type that has the lowest percentage is blood type O. Number 3, which blood type has the highest percentage? So, the blood type that has the highest percentage is blood type AB. And lastly, number 4, which blood type has the same percentage? So, the blood type that has same percentage is blood type A and blood type B. So, next is the definition of pie chart. A pie chart is a type of graph that displays data in a circular graph. The pieces of the graph are proportional to the fraction of the whole in each category. In other words, each slice of the pie is relative to the size of that category in the group as a whole. The entire pie represents 100% of a whole, while the pie slices represents only the portions of the whole. Also, pie charts are one of the most common types of data visualizations. Ito ay kadalasang ginagamit ng mga may business like for their turnover, profit, and exposure. Nagagamit rin natin ito kapag tayo ay pinapagawa sa school ng quantitative research. At ginagamit rin ito sa qualitative data. So next, what we're gonna do is to illustrate how to compute the angle of the sector as well as the pie chart of our given problem a while ago. So this is the blood type of HIV positive patients in St. Luke's Medical Center. So let's start. Para makuha natin ang angle sector, first we need to divide the frequency with our N which is 40, then ita times natin sa 360 degrees because pi is a circle and it has one revolution and always remember that one revolution is equal to 360 degrees so it will be 10 divided by 40 equals 0 0.25 times 360 degrees is 90 degrees next for the class b we have 10 divided by 40 equal 0.25 so 0 0.25 times 360 degrees is also 90 degrees then for the class c we have 8 divided by 40 is equal to 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 times 360 degrees is 72 degrees. Lastly, for the class AB, we have 12 divided by 40 is equal to 0 0.3. So 
So, 0 0.3 times 360 degrees is 108 degrees. So, we also make sure that the answer will be 360 degrees. Since dito natin ito tinimes at syempre, magtotal ito into 1 revolution kasi in-apply natin ito into pie chart. So, this will be the finished output of our pie chart when we use the app Excel. The use of pie chart in this given situation is to know which is blood type has the highest and lowest number of HIV positive patients. As you can see, there are four slices of the whole pie. Since there are only four types of blood. So this pie chart shows the blood type of HIV positive patients in St. Luke's Medical Center. Thank you.